Alright. Alright, what's going on everyone? Back at you with another uh, Master Soul Escape Analysis video. And today we're going to be having a double feature yet again with two of my non-slot no speed runs as Anchor. One with um, one with Sala Spawn Act 1 and DR1's Act 2 and the inverse for uh, for this other one. So we're going to take a look at these. Okay, I got the cards here. Alright, we're just gonna just turn this down so y'all can hear me. Alright, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just open this... I assume I'm gonna open this door and get a long shot like I usually do. Alright, so... Allow me to set the scene for you all. So... A while back, Turner was the only one doing Onslaught no speedruns, right? So, he did one as Gunner, Pilot, Infiltrator, and I think Blade Master? By the time this was uploaded. So, I was shocked by, by how there was no anchor. Because, like, why is there no fucking anchor? This, it should be, it should be pretty fucking easy, right? It should be the easiest one. Outside of Gunner, of course, but... It should be, it should be one of the easier ones, right? Wrong. Because, from what Turner told me, he, he could not for the life of him, life of him complete this, complete this no speed run Because of one fatal error... Or at least one card that cost him. Hey, let me rewind that. No, no. Okay. This. This card is probably the reason why I was I managed to solo Onslaught No Speed on his anchor. Because Turner told me that he ran crazy tough. And in my eyes... Crazy Tough is fucking useless in the vast majority of maps because health doesn't mean fucking shit if en if every enemy in the game can just could just one one two tap you and you're finished. It means absolutely nothing unless you got a faster regen like like perk up with Brawler or have a regenerate a factor like Blade Master or whatever or yeah, something like that. But having crazy tough is just I don't think is even remotely meta anymore. Unless you're it's a it's a it's a filler card basically. In comparison to harness energy. Like I saw how useful harness energy was because I realized that I can tank I can tank explosives. I can tank enemy melee hits i can tank pretty much fucking anything except boom shot scions and and the best part is that if you're under 100 percent health it re it regenerates five points of health each time you get hit so let's say i got like a bunch of grenadiers grenadiers pushing up pushing up on me right and i pop my shield i'm like <laughs> All the way back up to full health plus stim. I I don't have this luxury as with crazy tough, so that's why I opted to use energy har harness energy here. So let's get back into the video. We're just gonna just weigh into on this turret. Okay, kill that drone. I think this part is pretty straightforward. Like, I'm just killing all these guys with the turret. I gotta just target. Target the poppers first. Because this escape has friendly fire, which means if they even get hit by a popper, they're 1 HP. Almost fuck up there. Okay, 
Okay, I'll let a... Uh, let a grenadier pass there. Alright, so... Let's see how I... I think these are pretty much the same. Oh no, I did... I did DR1 Act 1. I forgot. So, it's the inverse. I know it's hard to do the inverse because... Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm f I'm feeling myself today. I'm feeling myself quite a bit today. I want to I want to see if it's even possible to do the inverse. You know. So let's see. Let's see how well I do. No, no, no! Don't fucking buffer, please. Now, this part with DR1 spawn is a little bit harder because because the poppers have shot grenades instead of, um, instead of frags, so enemies will be less likely to get below 1 HP, plus the DR1s replace grenadiers on this map, so they'll be very unlikely to reach 1 HP as it, in comparison to Graded ears and poppers. So keep that in mind as we as we scroll this. Oh, got that MW2 music. Already know. Okay, that this is what piss this is what pisses me off so much about this section. Because you be shooting at a drone and then they just they just oh no, time to run back to cover. Fucking head ass. Alright, gonna just shoot these poppers. Like, see, look at that. As soon as I shoot him once, he just goes right back to cover. Doing fi a measly 500 damage. Okay, destroy this ER1. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking fucked here because I let a DR1 pass through because that fucking popper caused by me shooting, trying to shoot at the drone. So, luckily for me, for some reason, when you shut a door, like, if you're... How do I explain this? If you're a weapon cache and you shut a door, the DR1s don't, outside of it don't move while drone enemies push towards it. Grenadiers even outright just st just be just be standing like in like their faces are touching the door. So if you want to keep DR ones at bay when you're near a weapon cache, please do this. Okay, I'm gonna grab the sniper. Actually, you know what? We're going to do a triple feature. I completely forgot about this one, so I completely forgot about having that. I did this a third fucking time because I want to torture myself for some reason. I'm gonna grab all this ammo. I'll let this popper pass through. Okay, pop this all. Like, you see how fast my fucking health regen thanks to harness energy? Keep an eye on that venom. 
Sweet. And for some... This is what pisses me off so much about the turret. You can't gain ult charge from using it. And when you're using shield, it doesn't... When you get kills with the turret, when you're popping shield, it doesn't extend it. Why? I don't understand it. All right, I, th I think that's all of them. All right, so see how I do this with just the ball talk. I use the same exact card set up here. Five, huh? Cozy. Got my girl Akagi, up, so team. cute. We're moving out. Okay, I just rush towards this weapon cache because I can't use a turret. So I have to make a mad dash to um to the to get as many ammo boxes as I can before they all spawn in. <clears throat> uh, need a hand. Multiple contacts. Swarm mark. Fucking miss. They just cross here. Swarm. Where is it? This fucking cross here is so bad. Like, why they make the cross here like that? Like, it it was so much better in the original trilogy. Why they fucking change it? Anyway, small rant over. So I just camp near the spot. Head out, pussy. To pretty much just back off because I'm being overrun. Gotta be aware of them shot grenadiers because for a reason decide to add that fucking modifier instead of literally anything else. And of course he gets fucking revived by a drone. Go up this fucking ramp, pussy. Thank you. I don't know why I grabbed that cog tag, but I think there's one more. Yeah, just as I suspected, a fucking drone. There we go. Of course, I get spotted by a sniper. Just in case the, the sniper is supposed to just revive him. Alright, there we go. We're just gonna just skip around. Okay, I have a, a lot of ammo here, but... We're going to continue. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna continue but this is how I deal with this part in particular. Oh, looks like I fast forward too much. Not that it matters anyway, but 
So we're just gonna just snipe these drones here. Surprise! Mark the drone! Gonna snipe this Attack! sniper. Mark the drone! Of course this fucking drone gets alerted. Fucking dumbass stealth mechanics. I didn't even see the nigga yet. He fucking just just walks up like that. Yet this drone doesn't even hear a thing. Alright. I'd even go to weapon cache for that one. So we're gonna see how I Oh. I think following this run I started to after I do the sniping section, I just go into the M bar weapon cache just to simply pick up ammo. So I wasn't quite used to seeing me just just go to the turret soon after I was finished sniping, so let's resume. More poppers. Get rid of these scions as quickly as possible. Okay, let me just rewind that. This is why being on that on this turret in Salo Scion. Um, salvo spawn is so damn risky because sometimes the rockets can actually hit the turret resulting in you getting killed so if you're attempting to do onslaught please keep this in mind the only thing that can save you is, is stim okay here comes another one Oh, there's two more. No, three more. This fucking turret just deals so little damage. Well, not really, but... Like, it, like it heats up way too fast. That's its, That's the turret's main problem. Okay, it does the fucking stairs glitch. Okay, there's two more fucking poppers. Okay, get this drone with one HP. I assume there's another one. Nope. Always do this when you're doing onslaught. Okay, you're gonna pick up this torque. I, I assume. Okay, I pick up flashes, alright. It's probably the only time I've ever done this. Alright. So, we're why am I picking up the fucking cog tags? Alright. So, we're just gonna just find the salver rockets. I'm just gonna go go straight. Oh no, I don't. You know what? I'm gonna fast forward this. This shit's fucking boring. I knew I should have fast forward this bullshit. Gotta find all these fucking salvos. Alright. Now, let's see if how I handle this with DR1 spawn. Snipe this drone. I don't know why I pick up that. Okay, so this was the point where I started to go and go and pick up an M bar. So let's fast forward. Okay, get the MW2 music again. Gonna just finish the sniping section. I think there's another one here. Come on. Okay, this 
Okay, no, I, I still fucking just go straight into the turret. I don't know why I fucking did that. I assume a drone was there. Of course a fucking drone just sitting on top of there. Fucking great programming, TC. I think this part is so much easier than Salvo Spawn because of how one, the fucking try shots instead of one hit killed explosives and two they're affected by the amount the by the bunch of shocks from the shot poppers so that makes it so much easier for me on the turret because i don't have to worry about getting killed on this thing it's practically impossible to even get killed in this section unless you're a fucking brainlet so, let's resume. You see, you see how fucking quickly that oppressor just got obliterated? Like, you see how fast that oppressor got just melted thanks to all those shocks? And it even fire a single tri-shot bullet too? Get another one. Okay, we got two more oppressors. These are, I think these are the last enemies. I'm not really sure. So fucking long this shit takes. Alright, I think we got a couple of drones here. Up a couple try shots. Check if there's a drone. There's nothing there. Okay, we pick up this try shot. Bear's got 46 fucking ammo for whatever reason. Okay, so let's see how I handle this part. Is with just a ball talk. Time for an so I just go in guns blazing because I can't use the turret, so I might as well use something else. Hey, okay, just one shot the drone. Easier if you're not using the turret. Yeah, you get. Or at least with anchor, it is. I'll just wait until this until this shield disappears. So. Yeah, the reason why I dis I wait until the barrier disappears is so I can get more alt charge when it alt charge because I knew I was going to run out of barrier sooner or later because I wasn't going to kill these two scions by the time the barrier finished so I wanted to get more alt charge after it ended because it will affect me in the long term as you'll as you'll see in this next section Grab this ammo. Okay, we got 71 ammo, so I should be good. And we're gonna review this next section. Gonna just camp up here. Ready to 
front line. Throwing his handle. I don't know why I use the shield at this section, to be honest. I really don't. Like, I really sh It was so unnecessary to use a shield here. Because more often than not, I'm gonna survive. See what I meant by how? Oh wait, no. I'm gonna show you all in a minute. Come on, fucking pussies! You see what I meant by how the turret kills with the turret doesn't extend your ult? So fucking weird, dude. Like I'm clearly fucking killing it while the shield is active and yet it doesn't extend it. Why? Rockets, pussy. Okay, we're gonna grab this ammo. Blah blah blah. You already know the deal. I'll kill these drones down here. Poke your head out. Thank you. Okay, hey, grab the cell rocket. Whopping 77 kills, baby. Come on then. Let's get his spell. We all made it. Good. Safe and sound. Alright, safe and sound indeed. Let's see how I handle this part with DR1 spawn. Oh, here we go. That's my jam, boy. Okay, I don't make the same mistake of using my alt here. Way less reliant on the turret because one, I knew it, it won't do me any favors, and two, the DR ones have way too much health to where they have enough health to where they could easily push up on me. So that's why I decided to not use the turret. Fucking do that. Come on. Bro, well, I probably would have been dead if it wasn't for that for that steel. Alright, I'm 
gonna just grab this ammo since I'm pretty low on ball talk ammo. people with the m-bar probably one shot them here oh no i don't this because venom acts pretty fucking weird come on dude are you serious thank you Go check if there's a drone there, and I was right. I give him the, give him the nip and tuck. Doors open. Come on. That's everyone. Close the door. Safe and sound. All right. Let's see if Akagi over here says safe and sound. So I just immediately just run up here. Oh, here we go. Here's the fun part. I realize I could have just meleeed them the whole time. Well, I only wanted to do this towards 1 HP enemies. a bunch of ammo like that. I really should. Alright, clap. Clap these. Clap these two fucking knuckle knuckle walkers. Safe rooms open. Okay, close the safe room. And that's that. Oh. Alright, let's see how your Mac deals with this section with fucking Salvo spawn. No, DR1 spawn. I'm sorry. Snipe these fucking enemies here. Come on, poke your fucking head out. This feels so annoying about these drones in this section specifically. Poke your fucking head out. Poke your head out. What's he doing? Alright, so this part is pretty easy. All I gotta do is just camp at where the venom is. You see what I was referring to about how my how fast my health regens and how you can't you don't have this luxury with crazy tough? That's what I meant. Mow 
down these people. Get all that all charge back because I'm in the venom plus the amount of splash damage the Salvo did, so that's why I got my alt so instantly. Ammo here. All right, so we're gonna see how I do this part with Salvo spawn. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna move your thick fucking ass, bro. this shot grenade here to kill off the fucking stragglers oh we got that mw2 helicopter music I don't think I have much to say here other than just the usual. So close to dying here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of ammo boxes here. Alright, 
left. So we're just going to stop here. All right, let's see how I do this with just a ball talk. So fuck this part was so fucking annoying because of how terrible the ball talk crosshair is. Just read her, just revert the. F I just wish they just reverted the fucking ball talk crosshair to, to how it was in the original trilogy because this this fucking crosshair is just fucking ass even after they changed it. Okay, I got 68 bullets in the clip. Love this. I just run straight through there. But Elite Drone just revives him! Didn't have enough time to kill all the Elite Drones. Okay, so I'm gonna do is just grab all of this ammo because the reason why I skipped that first section was because I tried doing that first section, but I just ran out of ammo so damn quickly. So that's why I opted to skip this part and you're about to see why when we go over the, the this last part. Okay, we're just gonna just skip that okay we go back to how we did it normally with dr1 spawn snipe the loot drone loot drone there That's why I saved those slashes. Of course, we got a fucking warden. Yay. Man, what? Oh. Here we got 23 bullets left in the clip. Like this fucking zero one. Hopefully, got some old charge. See, I'm already a half fucking 
a half ult charge. But we're not, but we're not done yet. We still got more. Still here. Rick, thankfully, for once. He forgot a drone there. I didn't even know shot poppers even spawned there after a certain period, so... Can't wait for the fr- wait for the drain drops- the frame drops, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with this 30 FPS bullshit. Can't believe I be beating niggas in PvP with this frame rate. All right, I think that's it for the DR1 spawn. Now we do this part with Salvo spawn. I think there was another elite drone, but I could be wrong. So what I'm gonna do is head to this weapon cache ASAP because I don't want no fucking shot grenadiers insta-killing me from absurd range. Fucking music. Oh, we got the Rangers Eat the Way theme. Let's go. Of course, it fucking missed. Yes, we got a we got a fucking bastion.
was a fucking miss. the best part Stupid ass fucking jumping jack C mode. Alright, let's see how I handle this part as fucking ain't with ball talk only. The elevator music. Relaxing Cody seems to like this one a lot. Just gonna wait until this venom appears here. Oh, we got the Metal Gear Rising song. Got the, got the Senator Armstrong theme. I think I said this earlier in the video because... I think it's when I was talking about how if you shut the door, the DR1s just stand still. It's the opposite for Grenadiers because they just... Like they stick their faces in the door when you shut when you shut it on them. They they just they just be they just be waiting outside trying to clap you, bro. It's 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 fucking weird. Hope I don't get invisible bastions like I usually do. Bro, I didn't even see that fucking warden coming in. And he's white HP, so that's really good. And what you're about to witness is why irrefutable factual evidence that. Barrier is the best ultimate in the entire game. You're about to see why. Like, this ultimate is so fucking good. What the hell happened here? Okay, let's let's slow this thing down. What the hell?
Wait, hold the fuck up. So, basically... I th Here's what I think happened here. So, I remember relaxing Cody telling me that if you can... You're more resistant to drones mailing you if you have short range deflect. And with gunner ult, for some reason, when when drones melee you, they just go down. Meanwhile, the same cannot be said for um, for Scions, DR1s, and whatnot. So, I think the game registers drone melee hits as ballistics because um, because. Since they are hitting you with their gun, I guess? I'm sorry this, if this doesn't make any sense, because it doesn't. It really fucking doesn't. I shouldn't have tanked that melee hit, but yet I did anyway. So, kind of ex an explanation as to what happened here. So, I think the game registers this as a ballistic weapon hit. So, in turn, it gave me stim when it hit me. I think that's what happened here. I'm not too sure. Why is it still at? I got six bullets left. I'm on my last clip. So, I have to be real careful. So I literally cannot shoot this Scion at all. So only have three left. Oh, only have one left, man. Oh, my last bullet. So I use my last one. Oh, not here. I think I use my last one on this last batch of poppers. So I pick up this meat shield to tank this popper. Oh, I love that fucking emo, bruh. And that's it for Onslaught No Speed Run as Anchor. Did this three- tortured myself on three separate occasions as fucking Anchor because I love torturing myself for some reason. So, I hope you enjoyed this- this solo analysis on all three of my Onslaught No Speedruns as Anchor. So, once again, I'm not sure you even said this because I think it's been like an hour since I started recording. So, once again, Thanks for thanks special thanks to the man Turner Burner for indirectly inspiring me to do three of these and see you guys in the next video.